Look at what just arrived. This is the remake of the Ninja Turtles arcade machine, the classic machine that I grew up with. And now you can have it in your living room and we get to unbox it and build it and play it. Now I have built some of these arcade one-up machines before, but this time around, I wanna get a little help to make it go faster. Not the tool I'd pick, but it can work. The moment of truth. Here we go. Loading. There's only one way to celebrate building a Ninja Turtles arcade machine. It's pizza time. Oh, anchovy, seriously? What? It's legit. Now it's time to put these turtles to the test to see what it's like to play with four people. Kick some shell. It, it definitely feels the same as the original, uh, kind of a, the essential part. The button action feels great. Yes, especially considering the DIY element to all this. I built it myself. Nice. <laughs> this machine is full of so many great details. The art, is the same as the original 1989 game by Konami, but with some Nickelodeon branding on the outside because Nickelodeon now owns the rights. Inside is the game you remember where you have to save ace reporter April O'Neil from Bebop and Rocksteady and keep kicking all that Foot Clan butt until you defeat Shredder. Well, actually, inside there are two games. Along with the original arcade game is Turtles in Time. Now, both were in the arcades, but you may have also played them on Nintendo. On the Sega Genesis, there was a very similar game called the Hyperstone Heist. I think I rented that from Blockbuster about 50 times, so playing Turtles in Time was also a fun trip down memory lane for me. Now let's talk about the actual build of this machine. It's not as big as an actual arcade machine, it's about three quarters to scale. Because an actual arcade machine would cost about three grand and weigh a couple of hundred pounds. This is $400 and it weighs 60 pounds. It's similar in size to the other arcade one-up machines from last year, but this time to accommodate four players, the dashboard adds about six inches of length on each side, giving it wings. Where's my, where's my party dude? Oh, I'm gonna write between you guys. Oh, yes. Michelangelo. Oh yeah. You'll notice the color for Michelangelo is yellow on the buttons and joystick, and that's how the original machine was made, so they kept it authentic. The company behind this went and purchased an original old machine to replicate the art, and it looks really good. 
The Turtles machine is the second wave of these retro units being sold by Arcade 1UP. And in this year's models, you're going to notice a few upgrades in the quality of materials and features. The buttons have a faster response time, there's a better quality joystick, a better screen, the packaging was even better. A great change is that the volume is now adjustable in an analog way where you can increase it and lower it through a range instead of before where it was just no volume or a preset middle and high level of volume. They included this plastic protector for the dashboard and you're gonna wanna use it. Just look at this Street Fighter machine we had in our office for the past year. The art is all worn off from people playing it over the years, so you don't want that happening with this beauty. Turtles also comes with a riser that's themed to the machine, and you're going to want that riser to make it easy to play standing up. Other machines have sold the riser separately, but it's smart that they included it here because you don't want to have four people hunched over this close. We got some finger grazing going on. Yeah, here. what is this, maybe like. 25, 30% smaller than like the regular cabinet's gonna be? Or so it's maybe we, just we, bigger than we were in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true. It's not right, bad getting four people around it in a party setting. It is a little cramped in the middle, but at least the game isn't that long. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it did get a lot warmer actually now that there are four bodies crowded around this. Like when I'm, when I'm playing, I like to get on top of it and I'm kind of like, oh, it's, it's okay, I can just play over here, guys, don't mind me. Does that screen like work for you guys like on the side? Are you at like a weird angle at all? Surprisingly no, it's actually really good. And one thing I also liked is that it felt very stable. Even with everyone around mashing buttons, it wasn't shifting or shaking at all. The first wave of Arcade What Up machines featured these retro titles like Galaga and Centipede. And this year, the company says they turned their attention to a slightly younger customer with titles like Turtles, Mortal Kombat, and a Marvel Super Heroes game. The CEO also told me that they're working on units that may have a light up sign in front instead of just solid wood. So I like where they're going with this and I look forward to seeing what they have in store for other models down the line. Okay, so when I saw the console, I thought it would be too tight for four people, but it's actually not so bad. Because your legs have to be further from it so that your arms can all fit next to it. Actually on that note generally, it sounds very good too. This does sound very arcadey. Oh yeah, yeah, because I, I do, there is some low end there, like with this drill coming up, it's not all just treble. It's being sold at Walmart for $400, and if that price gives you a bit of shell shock, well, this is something meant to be a fun statement piece for when you have people over for parties, or maybe you want to make your office buy one to lit off steam with your coworkers. Now, I love the art on this thing. It's retro. It's fun and it just makes you smile seeing it and thinking about childhood. This, I think this is an exceptional gift idea. Like if this, if this activates your nostalgia gland and you hold one in an arcade cabinet in your home, like it's a great size and it would be great at parties. Michelangelo. Mikey, he's a party dude. Well, I like Donatello because I'm a dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of Leonardo, boring leadership. <laughs> I remember this game outstays its welcome somewhat, but things get really, really hard. <laughs> yeah. Just everybody. We're giving ourselves lives. Giving ourselves all the lives. Everyone's giving ourselves lives. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Jump in the comments and let me know if you have any questions about the game or share where you remember playing this machine or what characters you like the best. I'm all about Michelangelo. You can also let us know what other classic machines you want to see Arcade One Up make next or just tell me your favorite pizza toppings because apparently no one here likes anchovies but me so that's fine. It's more pizza for me guys. Cowabunga. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go, 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 go. Go ninja, go ninja.